Hatem Dawidar, the group CEO of EANT. I took the role uh, exactly two years ago. The world was changing around us. We didn't know what is going to happen. As I talked to the team, the forecasts were very gloomy. So it was a very challenging start with very challenging environment. And I think that helped shape the whole story about doing things different. We used the pandemic as a way to look inside the business, how we're doing business. We started transforming as a telco. And as we started that transformation, we also thought, why are we just satisfied of being a telco? If we want to give amazing returns to the shareholders, to the countries where we operate, really grow business, we need to do things differently. And the key thing that everyone is after are customers. So we have 160 million customers approximately. What can we do to enrich their lives even further? And we decided that we are not anymore a telco. We are a technology company. We started reforming the business from being one company into verticals, looking at uh, our business in, the, in our home market, in the international operations. You have to really be ambitious and think big in terms of what can be achieved and look outside your existing boundary and what the organization is capable of. I think we, we, we try to be on the forefront of everything. So in, on 5G, we were one of the first countries to adopt uh, uh, 5G in the home market in the UAE. We have in the home market the highest level of fiber penetration in the world. So th these are things that we do as a business that also contributes not only to the growth and the success of the business, but again to the communities where we operate. Creating that kind of ecosystem, we believe, is the way forward. And uh, I think that EAND is definitely going to feature uh, in the future on the big brands that had the impact around the world. Uh, we will be there.